In a land where the pages of fairy tales come to life, there existed a quaint little village nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering woods. This village was no ordinary place. It was a crossroads where characters from different tales crossed paths, their destinies intertwined in the most enchanting of ways. One sunny morning, as the golden rays of the sun painted the sky in hues of pink and orange, Little Red Riding Hood set out on a stroll through the village. With her basket of goodies in hand and her scarlet cloak trailing behind her, she hummed a merry tune as she made her way down the cobblestone path. Meanwhile, in a cozy cottage nearby, Pinocchio danced with joy as Geppetto put the finishing touches on a new batch of wooden toys. I wish I could join Little Red Riding Hood on her adventure, Pinocchio exclaimed, his wooden limbs twitching with excitement. In another part of the village, Peter Pan and Tinker Bell soared through the sky, their laughter echoing like bells in the breeze. I wonder what adventures await us today, Tink, Peter mused, his eyes sparkling with anticipation. And high atop a tower hidden deep within the forest, Rapunzel gazed out at the world below, her long golden locks cascading down around her. I long to see what lies beyond these walls, she whispered to herself, her heart filled with wanderlust. As fate would have it, destiny had a surprise in store for these beloved characters. For on this day, they would all find themselves drawn together by a magical force beyond their understanding. It began with a chance encounter as Little Red Riding Hood crossed paths with Pinocchio on the village green. Why, hello there, Pinocchio, she exclaimed, her eyes alight with curiosity. What brings you out on this lovely day? Pinocchio grinned from ear to ear, his wooden nose twitching with excitement. I was hoping to explore the village and perhaps make some new friends along the way, he replied eagerly. Little Red Riding Hood's eyes sparkled with delight. Well then, why don't you join me on my stroll? I'm headed to the village square, where I hear there's a charming little cafe that serves the most delicious pastries. And so, arm in arm, Little Red Riding Hood and Pinocchio set off together, their laughter mingling with the sounds of the bustling village around them. Meanwhile, Peter Pan and Tinker Bell continued their aerial acrobatics high above the village, their playful antics drawing the attention of everyone below. Look, Tink, there's Little Red Riding Hood and Pinocchio down there, Peter exclaimed, pointing excitedly to the ground below. Tinker Bell's tinkling laughter filled the air as she darted ahead, leading Peter in a graceful swoop down to join their friends on the village green. What fun it will be to join them on their adventure, she chimed, her wings shimmering with excitement. And so, with Peter Pan and Tinker Bell now in tow, the group of friends made their way to the village square, where they found Rapunzel gazing out from her tower window. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, Peter called up to her, his voice echoing through the trees. Rapunzel's heart leapt with joy at the sight of her friends below. With a smile as bright as the sun, she tossed her golden locks out the window, creating a makeshift rope for her friends to climb. With a cheer, Peter, Tinkerbell, Little Red Riding Hood, and Pinocchio began their ascent hand over hand until they reached the tower's lofty heights. Welcome, dear friends, Rapunzel greeted them, her eyes shining with warmth. I have longed for the chance to explore the world beyond these walls, and now, thanks to you, my wish has come true. And so, with Rapunzel leading the way, the group of friends set off on a grand adventure through the enchanted forest, their laughter ringing out like music in the breeze. As they walked, they shared stories of their past adventures, swapping tales of daring rescues, narrow escapes, and magical encounters. They laughed and sang, danced and played, their spirits soaring with each step they took. And when they finally emerged from the forest, they found themselves standing before the charming little cafe in the village square, its windows adorned with twinkling lights and colorful banners. With a delighted cheer, the group of friends rushed inside, eager to sample the delights that awaited them within. They feasted on pastries and cakes, sipped steaming cups of cocoa, and laughed until their sides ached. And as they sat together, basking in the warmth of friendship and camaraderie, they knew that this day would be one they would never forget. For in this magical land where fairy tales come to life, anything is possible when friends come together on a grand adventure. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, the group of friends bid farewell to the charming little cafe 
and set off into the night.